Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Hearts of Iron 4 with the mod Red Liberty Bread and Roses in which we're uh, playing as uh, Norman Thomas still in the probably the final episode of this campaign. Um, as we're looking at the demo here, um, we're doing Europe of Flame though. Um, because Europe is in flames once again, we must choose to approach to debate joining the war in the Congress. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see very soon. And there we go. So we gotta figure that out next. But we're gonna go ahead and come down here and do a right to democracy. We get an event about it. Go figure. Uh, the Equivalent Education Act. Get more research speed. Or debating joining the war. Well, maybe I should not have done that. That's gonna take us so much political power that we don't have. God dang it. As uh, we're still campaigning here, too, so. Managing the part, excuse me, party, which is fine, whatever. Um, well, only 14 Republicans support the bill. A lot of Democrats support the bill, actually, too. So we do the Republicans. There's only 14. That's a good chunk. Socialist Democrats. We do them too. AFP is like, eh, socialist. Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough. Okay, so we're gonna use consequences for this probably basically. I'm um, gonna get this done. Good campaign, oh, so we got a good campaign. Um, so it says uh, in the comments from the last video, what's with the soy Woe Jack in the Congress UI? It's probably because they had election changes and people got in, people got out, so stuff like that. Communists, I'd rather work with the socialists. There we go. Oh, I should should have worked with the socialists to begin with. Um, let's get more political power first. Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. Terrible opposition campaign. Oh, we have any political power for this too, don't we? Oh man, I just started the video and uh, so what up? So, uh, someone else says, if Tino keeps crashing, or when it's done, can you uh, try out his progressive MCS? Well, we'll try to. I know this person that says, I would love a playthrough of Ireland when it comes out. Probably when this is done, so. Uh, let's see what the event is about, though. The initiative in the re referendum. Our rivalist does win the election. Holy crap, is that a torture the protectorate reference? Search for more perfect union, I guess. People's veto versus legislative referral. Protect the First Amendment. Voting Rights Act. Oh. And prepare the amendment. Um, we'll probably go with this one, I suppose. Event. And Right to Life. Declare War on Poverty, huh? America's been found on the principles of action and reaction towards crisis that deemed to destroy our founding character, and large has been twisted into a agenda for resource extraction and modern reduction colonialist policies, which, while since the short term, boosted American markets and our international standing, all these wars of aggression never gone after the root problems that they've been causing hurt back at home, one of them namely being the sickness of poverty. It's only right and just to declare a war, but not on foreign elements or perceived threats to international finance, but a war that goes hand in hand defending the people we seek to protect and represent. A war on poverty. Starting with the commitment to end unemployment through federal contracting, and stipulating that every person, no matter the skills of competency, are given the option to work and climb out of the sinkhole that they are stuck in for years on end. No more shall we allow destitution to plague the American people, for this government will fight to the side of our own people. Once more under the breach, as he coerced himself to sit through the eight briefing of the a day on the success of socialist policy making. Largely being done by his comrades, although many outside the administration were simply called the Minions, which Thomas himself didn't take too kindly, one thought that haunted him throughout the meetings was of the ever-present concern. Can I should I leave this nation for a third term? Losing in concentration is a daydream about a third inauguration. Do so you think it's feasible to push through to the Supreme Court our bill to impede malicious treatment of farmstead animals in the national parks? Press Thomas's advisor to on his left on the discussion board with the Secretary of the Environment flanking him on the right with a brow heavy enough to make any man quake in their presence, except for Thomas, of course. Oh, yes, I think it's doable, com commented Thomas with the confidence and enthusiasm of a sloth who just been told around a 100-meter dash. All right, then. I think we could be able to push this through, though I'm doubtful I'd be able to pass it during your second term with the red tape and baggage that comes with amending laws and defending pl uh, plant rights. Followed by a comical grin by most in the room, except for the environment secretary, with a stern as ever face as ever. Come again, Lewis? Exclaimed with a pontificating glare, almost demanding an answer from him. Well, I just mean that given the president of two terms, perhaps the bill will be completely under your undisclosed protege is what I meant, sir. Our dreary signs for the meeting board meeting, with bureaucrats from all sides looking anxiously to one another, as they were witnessing potentially a turning point in Americans' perceived political givens. Well, let me put this on the record and be straight with you. I'm the spark that little America, and I'll be darned to have it da just have it in two terms. My mandate is guided and buying for the people, and no such terms I'll be abused that mandate. We're gonna do that. The Germany's doing okay, actually. We just do fairly so. Any foreign team, uh, Socialist Party Convention. As a uh, Congress for the 1940 Socialist National Convention commenced, with key figures from all across the country, such as John Reed, even though I thought he retired, and Bayard Rustin attending the convention, taking notes intensively, yet everyone knew what they were watching for. All, all eyes were on one man, Norman Thomas, for earlier comments of potential, who went for a third term, even shocked even the most prudent socialists. 
My dear comrades, was the silent answer for the day. As Waffle heads gazed at the belated announcement, I come to you to announce my intentions for running as not just as convention leader, but also as America's leader for a third term. Some grasped for the announcement, whilst others merely lolled their heads, seeing the only logical response that could be taken by the charismatic Thomas. For the socialists who ever wanted to have a chance to transform the nation into a beacon of hope, and anti imperialism in a dark and grim world, it would have to be under the guise of the successful and diligent leadership of Norman Thomas. Not just Commander in Chief, but our Commander in Chief. Do you think keep walls? You know, we'll just keep walls, why not? He's, he seems like he's doing a good job, so. I don't know, we'll see. I kind of wish we could see what, what's going on here. I wish we could send some volunteers, but we can't, which sucks, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Hey, the bill's passed, nice. Congress reigns supreme. Um, oh! Okay, so peace in her time, so you can't get involved. We go this way. The resignation. Wait, what? Following Congress' decision to send American troops to Euro uh, Europe? President Thomas, following the idyllic and perhaps lofty position of non-interventionism and pacifism in Europe, has come to the conclusion that his days as commander in chief were over. For how can a principal man justify leading his nation to war simply to satisfy the chauvinistic and imperialistic pleas to oppose American interests in Europe? At 2 o'clock p.m., the president will make it brazenly clear he'd rather die on the coast of Hamburg with his fellow comrades than to be remembered as a president that carried America's back, carried America back out of splendid isolationism? Oh. Full commitment. Whoops. A uh, well established yet somewhat obscure persona in the grand scheme of American politics, Cordell Hope proposed today in front of cameras and radio broadcasters as an attention run for the 1940 Democratic nomination, proclaiming that our nation is in dire need of a return to some principles whereby we seek for a global network of alliances that can challenge the stranglehold on the powers that currently be in place. With these purposefully vague statements, not uncommon to the man himself, for working as a diplomat under the Hoover administration, he championed a moderate and yet global foreign policy that would curtail competition from both Britain and Germany, and seek to orient those nations to a more peaceful and diplomatic arrangement, even proposing for a so-called United Nations, even though this one goes far as the following election cycle would decimate the Democrats. As a Tennessee Democrat, his chances of sweeping the South and potentially attracting more moderate Democrats in the North and on the West Coast makes him a formidable candidate, albeit with the oratory skills that would be expected from a steam train in the back of the Manhattan. Anyways, or always the shy ones that make for great political wrestlers. Well, I guess we're not going to do the resignation. I should not have done that one, but whatever. Happy June. Just wanted to see what would happen there. Great Plains, huh? Good opposition campaign, huh? Yeah, we want to go to the Great Plains next, maybe. Uh, or even Southwest. Southwest, maybe? Might be able to do it okay in the Southwest. Good campaign? That's good. Good, good campaign is good. As it should be. Fruit mini mirror frames? Um. Really good engines, defense turrets. Sure, why not? Which module, self fueling tanks. Armor plates, I guess. Ta da. Or carrier airframe, well. Yeah. Kind of like what we got for now. This, this campaign's not going to last that much longer, so I'm not super concerned about it right now, so. Congress is like, ah! ah, ah. Be interesting to see what happens to the, uh, you know, avoiding rights act for everything here, you know. Um, yeah, let's see what, who's if we actually get reelected, which we, it looks like we probably can. God dang it, the Rockies is still a problem. And Great Plains too. Ooh, Great Lakes. Oh, New England is very. Oh, well, we gotta go back to New England, huh? We're a very divided government, aren't we? Uh-oh. Oh! Well then. Wow. What the heck? Russia and Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. Split in half with the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. Why is there two? Oleg Frolov and Anton Novozilov. Wait, where did he do this one? Where do we do the next cell? Okay, sure, why not? A great campaign, nice. Hey, that was really good for us. And Russian state is over here too. 
Feldchuk is back. Oh, they're still fighting a uh, guy with a hat. Antonov. Go to Antonov, eh? Oh, that sucks. Good an education, huh? Voting rats, I guess, if they want rats. They're still doing pretty decently, though. They've actually expanded the front more and sent the centers more in the north. It's not bad for them. Of course, they're fighting against a river now, too, which is not good. Sedan would be pretty good for them, too, but whatever. Nice. Housing Act? Clear to War of Poverty. I don't know if we're going to have to fight for this one. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, Get the Democrats on board? There you go. Good campaign's good. And either the Rockies, Great Plains. New England again would be good though, but. Back to the Great Plains. Right to life. Now of election about a month. It passed, nice. We look a little better already. Very good. Voting Rights Act. Um, let's say, oh, France just got invaded there, there too, and they actually, the British actually took a port, which is pretty good for them. Let's see. We just did that one. Ooh. Senators are going to be okay. Republicans and Democrats, huh? Well, yeah, it looks like I'm going to do some consequences for this one. Come on. God dang it. Why would socialists not support this? Like, bruh. Election day. Um, today is the day the Americans everywhere going down to the polling place, casting their votes for who will be the next president of the U.S. of A. Took a few days collecting and recounting the results of which one victory will be likely to declare. So we actually gained 24 seats in the House. Ooh. Nice. That was actually really good. Let's see those results. Awesome. But we already negotiated, so now we can't. Bruh. Hey, let's get more eight seats. Electoral College. Oh, we lost. The socials only got 273 votes. Oh, God. So, you're no longer in power, are you? Wow. I think it would have been a little bit more towards our side, but whatever. Okay. Um, so, I did the, that one. Lower healthcare costs. When one's told that they're unable to work due to being sick, one's reaction should be that taking care of oneself and then not push your bodily abilities beyond the capacity. Instead, the reaction for most is whether or not they can afford to sit out from day of work. Fearing a potential loss of income or worse, build a bill that comes with seeking treatment for the ailment. Still true today. Once I've been tackled the issue of financial security, we still have yet to tackle the exorbitant prices that healthcare companies place on the customers, regardless of their own ability to pay for the healing process. Most acting due diligence to ensure that such inconsiderate acts of antagonism towards their own consumers is not jeopardize the health of Americans across the country and the well being of the nation itself in these tottering times. Starting off with a bang. Well, Mick, how's the results from the latest bombardment looking? Queried Dr. Glando's colleague, bond from head to toe in white gears that conducted experiments in the little repository within the University of California, tentatively waiting for results to report. Considering the results, I say the reaction of gathered the typical case of uranium molecules ripping apart the electrons from the proton base. However, I have to say, some looks different with this result. Is that what I think this means then? Eagerly asked Whale, uh, or Wall, standing just a few meters away from analyzing the data that was oozing with new properties, vehemently passionate about the potential history they'd be making with such a discovery of a new isotope. If I were to give a scientifically evaluated answer, paused Mick, with a squinted face as his colleagues leaned over, success would be a new isotope we have here, gentlemen. All of a sudden, the mannerisms that the scientists wore as if they were skin melted away as they cackled with excitement, given the value and potential of this discovery they've been working on for months now, with no look at the Selectron that possessed, blimey me, I haven't felt so apt since old whale found the bathrooms clogged with phosphorus, I chuckled out loud, at the expense of whale, who was still embarrassed by the vanity question. Say then, what do you think about what you call this new isotope then, Pine Mick, with all looking towards Glenn's uh, ringleader? So how about plutonium? How would that do? So we lost new focus, huh? He's never active, huh? Do we have... Oh! Need more here, too. Manhattan Project. Back in 38, German campus made the discovery of nuclear fission regarding... Are regarded throughout the world as an immense breakthrough in the scientific community. Many began to look into potential power generation facilities in which this discovery could be made useful. But naturally, where one sees a bright future in the energy independence, others see potential or the possibility to wipe entire cities off the face of our planet. The US of A has looked to play God to ensure that their enemies uh, uh, don't get the chance. Effectively, immediately, the goal of American science is to secure the bomb. Um, so. Yeah. 
Declaring war on poverty would probably be a good idea. Yeah. Lower health care costs. Yeah, that would be good to do as well. Yeah. Food stamp plan? Oh, there's nothing here. Uh, I got plenty of political power now, so it's February. Yeah, we're still president. You know what? We're not going to complain about that. Well, we did these two already. So, we need to be at war. Germany's doing well. Are we supposed to join the French Republic? Development of substitute materials. Huh? Okay. No? Alright. We'll go declare war on poverty then. Look at causes? Like, I suppose so. And then maternity insurance? So, oh. bare bones with small. This is more political power. National Health Care Act. Alright. Um, legislative referral. The people's veto. Well, I guess probably go with legislative referral. Apparently amendment. Politicians should be popular. <laughs> And then unemployment compensation? What happens when the rich reports to pay their mistakes? Instead of rightfully compensating the workers and giving them the ability to find new work, they fire them without notice, relegating them to scavenging the streets in order to survive, such as the so called free market. Actively, instead of actively allowing such a bastardizing way of thinking to prevail, ca uh, capital, uh, capitulating further into the capitalist notions of indebted servitude, which bourgeoisies have finally proclaimed to be a relic of the bygone times, and so they have persisted in all but name in today's society. We need to sanction institutions to provide material aid and compensation to these would be workers who have only been unjustly laid bare out on the streets without any dignity. Only by taking these steps will workers truly be free from the market and be able to build their own destinies and feed the families back home. There you go, have that one. Um, it's 41, so you're gonna grab that and you're gonna grab this one too. There you go. Um, yeah, we're not doing so well, but you know what? The Democrats are like, eh, we don't want to be in power. I'm like, oh, okay. Food stamps? Um, uh, legislative referral, why not? Alright, so what we're gonna do here? Well, yeah, let's save real quick first. Let's see if we can pass all this stuff, you know? Uh, Greece and Bulgaria Civil War. Eh? Oh, what happened to France? Why switch them purple? I asked that last time too. What the heck? Oh well, oh well, sucks to be them. Housing Act. That's farm tent. Oh, ten oh wow, look at that. We got that really good. Great. Farmer, uh, farm tenant bill passes. <laughs> bill is like any other family man, a hard work, diligent, stern, and maybe at times a little fool of himself, but nevertheless. Never overstep his bounds, which what mattered most was bringing food on the table for the little ones and his beloved Lily. And yep, as a tenant farmer, we can help but wonder sometimes why he must toil his lands and get part of what he yields to the owner who produces nothing himself. That's what it costs plus values, Bailey, and you're being robbed without you even knowing it, said the local socialist farmer, friend in the area, radicalized by the socialist party's agenda. He still wasn't sure of them as a whole, but he darn well knew that things weren't as they should be. But he introduced from Congress on a bill that could change up his own material conditions, that for sure would make anyone's head light up. So, you take your plower and tell the soil till that you let it be porous enough for water to soak through, Junior. Or his father, who was younger son of the farm, which he had five more to look at with his five preparing his favorite mac and cheese, was the news of the farm tenant bill was being broadcasted through the radio. Then, for the moment he had waited for, a radio frequency started Junior into existence, prompting him to go back inside the shack to get a roof over the family's heads. Get over here, Lil, thinking the message is reeling out, 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 out of the radio. He stated with excitement, before being hushed by the sounds of a prompt proclaiming the tally, the eyes of the passage of 54 to 46 nays, uh, the Senate confirmed the House's decision to enact equitable parity between farmers and their tenants, and a compensate malpractice of intents onto the farmers and pay a sum that would be considered a livable wage. The fall was a flurry of ecstatic mumbo jumbo to most, but for the family, it was their way of celebrating their newly found rights and privileges. Topping off the night with their family's favorite dish, Billy slept soundly together with his family, kissing them all goodnight as he dozed off. He felt a smile oh, creep over his face, feeling for once that all the blood and soil he put into the small farm of his would now be so much more. Farmer dreams to leave his children a field of gold. Cool. Old Age Pension Act? Looking good. Senate? It's way easier with the Democrats being in power. Or supposedly in power. Housing? Okay. This is a bit too easy. No, it's so easy when we when we're, when we're not the ones supposedly in power. You know, I do not understand. I'm gonna divide the country in half by building the west, Midwest area, and then the south ish. There you go. Cool. Legislative referral. All the money in the world. Really, man. It's a nice apartment the government's paying for, Lawrence asked. Just one third of the rent. Subsidies, Eddie responded. They're sitting on the dining room table and inside apartment, the chairs side by side. Can you believe it? Eddie continued, born on a dirt farm in Oklahoma, now I'm living like a king. 
I'm saving up for a car next. I don't even know what I do with it. There's a tram that goes by the cannery, so I don't need to drive. His voice lacked enthusiasm, obviously not content despite his prosperity. But since I can have it, why not? Well, it was Lawrence's turn aside. I remember when he said that about this apartment, and the air conditioner, and the medical insurance, and the life insurance, and the leather boots. Each sentiment was punctuated with a heavy, oppressive pause. I can have, I might as well, Eddie murmured. As I was dropping to stare down at the table, I can have everything. Except what I really want, he kicked the table, scuffing his boots and scowling as his toes smeared pain, smarted, smarted painfully. All the cars in the world, all the houses in the world, all the boots in the world, all the money in the world. I could add all of it. What a mean thing to me, he kicked the table again with the foot on his arm. Lawrence's hand found Eddie's, wrapping around and gently rubbing the palm with his thumb. I shared a long glance, better to be hidden and richer than hidden and poor. And it's not as if any other candidates would have done us any better. At least we have well paying jobs and good apartments, Lawrence looked up at the sturdy brick walls, and affords more pri privacy than a shanty. Perhaps Norman's helping us, but in his own secret way. That was a fanciful statement, but Eddie found himself liking it. Soothing the lies that had always been more comfortable than feeling than unfeeling truth. A cloud is still locked and unseen. Global conflicts, well. Oh, is this? The old man have refuge refuge for sentence. Oh. You can say to okay. I'll get additional funding. Uh, sure. Well, that took a while to get that one done. Wow. Vice Royalty of Dong Dongbai. We got so much for Korea. Oh, you're actually fighting Japan. Oh, that's your influence, huh? Well then. Okay. Construction speed. It's not bad. Research speed's okay. Research speed's okay. Well, you got research speed for light, for those and better consumer. Uh, why would you do this one? Better research speed, naval speed, and production cost for all of them go down. I do not understand. Uh oh. Oh god. Yep, so much for that war. Better radar? Uh, there you go. Even better, better radar. Well, let's see what Oh my god. What the barnacles is all this? We have a French Republic. That's independent with another French Republic. We have the third French Republic. We have the no name, probably Brittany. Revolutionary Socialist, probably French Republic. What the barnacles happened here, man? Oh, let me get some more trucks. There you go. Uh, so we have Austrian People's Republic, a beacon of hope. Well, I guess. Uh, we have the Kingdom of Italy, led by Giulio Gavon. And the ultra conservative now. We've got Paolo Cadorna, Kingdom of Italy, and Kingdom of Poland. Um, and then we've got Kingdom of Italy down here, and then another Kingdom of Italy. We have two different kingdoms of Italy. Three different kingdoms of Italy. Italy's got a lot of division in its country. Okay, Gaza? Sure, there you go. Why not? And wage discrimination. I just want to get down here. America were born, but kind of nice. I think right now the focus is just a bit too long compared to what we have. But, you know, it's only demo. Well, is there anything else we can do down here? Yeah. Theoretical development, spirit by the theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer of the University of California. Uh, intensive research towards the feasibility of nuclear armaments is underway. Fun with a blank check from the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Oh, that'd probably be good to do. Stage one needs to be complete first, though. So, um, yeah, 98 total senators, 483 in total as well. It's not bad. It's better though. It's better. Yeah, do that too, Oh, we're still using it. We might even have M1 Thompson's. Oh, that's bad. Um, when can we invest more? No. Alright. Theoretical development is. The best and brightest Manhattan Project. Our rich intent to be a singular American goal has been recruiting researchers from within the borders of their allies and enemies. British, Canadian, re French researchers have been loaned to Washington to support their efforts, while Jewish researchers from across Germany and Central Europe have been affected to the states to escape religious persecution and oppression. They have most secrecy. The development of nuclear armaments must be undertaken in the most secretive ways possible. With the entire city is being construct constructed, disguised areas of research, productivity, and assembly near tens, if not th hundreds of thousands of employees, ranging from construction to military men, deployed to protect the projects 
Every folder, every piece of paper must be locked in a safe at the end of the day. Identities must be confirmed. And for those who uh, <clears throat> share too much information, well, workplace accidents do happen. Close facilities. So then we have they don't do physical development. Mankind over the past few centuries has gone progressively better and better in developing bombs which kill each other. This project is a whole new ballgame. Time's come to determine why one transports a soccer ball sized ball of plutonium covered in sort of high explosives and a steel sheet weighing in at nearly 10,000 pounds to, tar to a target and rapidly achieving detonation. To go kaboom. Because what else are we going to do with a bomb? Marry it? You never know. Let's see. We won't build some supply. Oh god. Confusion. What the heck are we working on? This was a question that I everyone within the dormitory had in their minds every single waking day, and so did Tiffany, who, being promised a place to stay for children, being a meager mathematician with no real job prospects during the Great Depression, being offered housing, food, and clothing by the government. She certainly appreciated the gesture, but was always questioning what her calculations for what people around her would call a gadget was meant for. That's what a Dixie would say if he didn't know what was good for him, said that her superior when she pressed him. And all you need to know is that Mr. Thomas wants this ready before the war's end, which is too late, but his gadgetry that you are so diligently working on shall be pioneering achievement of the American national consciousness as we know it. Now get back to work before I call up management. So they now piped up the supervisor. What little did she know was that he himself was just as clueless as the others were on what this project really was. All he knew was that the job paid well, and the good old brother Thomas, who was doing best for Chicago, Bay, his hometown. Does truth or money pay the bills? And of course, we're going to lower health care costs too, like I said earlier. I'm going to do some food stamp plans and the six hour work day. I probably read this earlier, but. The movement to reduce working hours has always been a surrounding goal of the social working class movement. It started as early as the first few decades of the newly kindred spirit of the U.S. of A. But the Philadelphia workers have organized a campaign for a 10 hour workday, which, although it seems rather tepid of an aim today, was quite revolutionary for the time. And now you add again, we're in need of another revolutionary campaign, this time. Um, uh, being spearheaded by the government itself, Norman Thomas has, in his insurmountable judgment, recognized the need for families across the nation to spend less time slaving away at the factory and more time to enjoy time with their family and loved ones. God, that'd be nice. Or even a four day work week. As Robert Owen campaigned out eight hours work, eight hours rest, eight hours recreation, and now in the age of 21st century, or 20th century, we must point out of the business class, eight hours of work, eight hours eyeballing your products, eight hours of dread, doesn't cut it, we shall strive for a reasonable free work week for all. Ending wage discrimination. One of the greatest re revelations that has only become even more apparent as the depression opened the contradictions of capital is that everyone may work, but not everyone that works get paid fairly for their labor, with every black man being paid half of their white counterparts and with even a meager weekly salary for the workers at large, only being even paid in some cases five cents an hour in flailing mining camps, with improper safety measures in place, with some being paid in so-called truck wages rather than real money, and then being reimbursed into products directly provided by the company, making it near suicide for these workers to leave their places of work. This ends as of today with a fair wage standard act whereby a minimum of 50 cents an hour for work, coupled with a provision that there can be no greater of a difference of 10% between white and blacks in the workplace, taking into consideration the slight chance that these differences are due to skill. It's not only promote workers to climb the socioeconomic ladder, but will enable them to spend their wages earning in American business and not just their own workplace, accumulating excess capital at the expense of the labor of millions. Economic Equality Act. Why is it a married woman must be inclined to stay at home and auspice rule that their man will bring back enough to put food on the table? Well, the man himself barely makes enough to work to live, uh, at work to live. Well, they just aren't paid as much as a man due to being inferior and doing any heavy lifting. This question isn't just an ethical or moral one, neither, but an economic one, too. Having women staying home providing little or no economic output simply puts more pressure on their husbands to earn a living, uh, pushing these families further into destitution and poverty. Since one wage has to cover the mouths of several others, it's not simply sustainable, especially in a modern economy such as ours. With the Economic Equality Act guaranteeing equal standards of pay to all, regardless of gender, every occupation will have a standard and the standard must be fulfilled in earnest, or said companies shall be penalized to orders of magnitude greater than they could afford by cutting wages and uh, working standards further. So right now, um, we still have these two here. And managing the party, well, we're doing all right. Doing definitely okay. But then after that, oh, National Health Care Act. We need a, a large American safety net. We have, we'll probably finish that one first, because right now, what are we at? We have a small safety net. How do we get more a bigger safety net? Um, uranium fever. As research moves forward, American scientists face one major problem: shortage of the uranium and plutonium stockpiles. Negotiations must be conducted secretly between the President of the United States and his Prime Ministerial counterparts in both Canada and the United Kingdom, in order to secure greater supplies of raw uranium ore and heavy water for, from their domestic facilities. Because right now we're at 48%, which is not bad, but <clears throat> oh, Poland's up here too. Poland's like in a lot of different countries. Oh, I didn't realize the Russian Federative Socialist Russian F Soviet Republic is in three parts, not two. And we have the North Ru North Russian Republic. Huh. Well, okay then. Happy 43, everybody. Baltic Federation, yes. 
All right, and well, we can't do that one, so we're gonna do this one. That Commonwealth Army to the Philippines we go. All right, so I can make equality. Um, that's not bad. Work with the Democrats for now, and then push it forward. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna work with the Democrats again because now we've lost enough political power and push it through. Wait, it failed. What do you mean it failed? Uh. We have more than enough there, right? 40, oh, maybe it's 48 or 48. Maybe we have 49, we need 49 maybe? Oh, it's because, yeah, we don't control the House of Senate, so. 49 now. Okay, now we have it passed. We do it again, National Healthcare Act. Um, but we need American safety net large. Well, God dang it. This seems maybe a slightly bit bugged. I'm not sure. How are we supposed to get to that? Criminal education. We did that one. We did all, all these already. Executive order? No. We have to be war for these. Um, well. Well, we'll do that no matter what. And then uh, America were born. I don't know if we can actually get this finished. Because this is taking a long time to do. And there's not much we can really do about this. Our theories have been proven. <coughs> Excuse me. Our deaths have been successful. Our detonations have been devastating. We must not focus on streamlining the process of production, assembly, mobilization. In order to maintain a nuclear arsenal, we'll be best to ensure that they're as stable as numerous as possible. Close facilities. In order to get the best results out of the funding, close facilities have been constructed across both the U.S. and Canada, and the most notable being those of Los Alamos, New Mexico, Hanford, Washington, and Oak Ridge, Tennessee. We have operated the heart and organs for the entirety of our nuclear program and begin the assembly. The time's come. We have the theory. We have the material. We can now begin now assembling a test version of the weapon and the power of God. Uh, St. Peter will weep upon hearing our sins. We may repeat in our minds that we created this evil for the greater good, but the sound of the screams and the scent of the burnt flesh will never depart. The mountains will melt beneath him, and the valleys will split apart like wax before the fire, or like water rushing down a slope. Micah 1414. Get nuclear bombs, and now I am become death. They're destroyed worlds. Yeah, I think this might be a bit bugged because we did pass it. We just passed it, and it was, you know, with a pretty good majority. Um, but it already says we have an American safety net, uh, and, and it would get that re replaced with American welfare state. Um, so it says small, but we actually really have large. So that doesn't make any sense to me. So that was a National Health Care Act. So it seems a bit bugged. And I did use consequence for this. So America were born. So I think that's probably going to be it for us in this campaign, in this video. Looking at the initial um, idea. Let's see if this does anything here. Um, if, if it doesn't do anything, then war is probably going to go on and and the campaign because there's not much here. If you want to read about the United Front, please go ahead, as well as Office of Strategic Services and full commitment because the war is already over in Europe. Uh, share our knowledge, Bomber Command, maybe as well. So I guess we'll, you know, I'll have to wait and see just because, you know, it's, this is only a demo, it's still being worked on. So, but this has a lot of promise to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing how far this mod can go. You know, like most mods. So, does he actually resign? I guess he doesn't. Maybe give it a couple days, perhaps. Yes, no, maybe so. And if he doesn't, oh well. But if you enjoyed the campaign, though, my friends, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great Norman Thomas Democratic Socialist rest of your day.